let's actually consider the same mixture, but this time let's determine the mass fractions for air. Now we can continue with the same notation as we did just in our previous problem. So oxygen is our first component, nitrogen is going to be our second component. And for balance, we know that for every one mole of oxygen, we're gonna need 3.76 moles of nitrogen. And recall that the mass fraction of each individual component is, uh, is uh, represented by that formula right there. So we take the mass of the individual component and divide it by the mass of the complete mixture, the total mixture. So our first step is to find the mass of each individual component in this particular mixture. So let's start by defining the molecular weight for each one of these elements. Now the molecular weight for oxygen is 32 grams. And this cram session is, isn't about the periodic table, so I'm not gonna show you how to find that, but essentially you just use the periodic table. So the molecular weight for oxygen is 32 grams, plus or minus. Now the molecular weight for nitrogen is 28 grams. And again, the basic molecular weight equation, this formula right here, is the mass of the total mixture divided by the total mole. And in the same sense, we can find this for each individual. We can determine the molecular weight for each individual component within a mixture. Both these formulas, all these formulas can be found on page 86 and 87 of that uh, thermodynamics section within that reference handbook. So always remember that this is where I'm getting these formulas. So knowing the individual mole contributions and the molecular weight of each component, we can rearrange this formula to read as such. So we got the mass of each individual component is equal to the molecular weight of that component times the number of moles that component is contributing. This will allow us to find that individual mass that we're looking for. And once we get the individual masses, we can just add them up and we'll be able to get the total mass of the mixture. So let's go ahead and do this. Now the mass for oxygen within our mixture is 32 grams times one mole. So it's 32 grams, that's the mass of the oxygen. Now for this nitrogen, it's 28 grams times 3.76 moles, or 105.28 grams. And adding these two together, we're gonna get a total mass for the mixture of 137.28 grams. So now that we can find the individual mass fractions of each component, and for oxygen, we're gonna have 32 divided by 137.38, or a mass fraction of 0.2331. For nitrogen, we're gonna have 105.28, divided by 137.38. And adding those together again is going to add up to one, that's our check. And this fulfills our rule for mass fractions. So all the mass fractions add up to one.